So yeah, welcome back. We're going to be Zelding tonight, and uh, I leave for convention tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be able to play this tomorrow morning. I thought I might be able to, but I have a lot that I need to get done in the IRL. So we're going to probably just try to... For me, I'm just going to try to get as much stuff done as possible tonight. It's been... Wow, I forgot I was even dressed as Ganon. But yeah, just gonna get stuff done, gonna, um, start doing Zora stuff. And then next week... I can play more. Like I said, I'm in no real rush to finish this game, but... There does come a point in time where... One must let go. And admit that... The good times are over. Well, that's depressing. No, I mean, not like that. Chat, I've never been to Kakariko Village in Tears of the Kingdom. So... We're gonna go there. That, that's the first thing that needs to happen. I need to go to Kakariko Village. Uh, where is it? It's not there. It's, it's near Hateno. Really? Is this it? Hmm. I'm still actually really surprised I never just ran into it by accident. Vinny, you're gonna go viral again. Why? Is it my reaction to Elephant Mario? Uh, what do you, what do you mean though? I retweeted, Ultima posted it. At the reaction, and I retweeted it. Is oh, is that okay? That's what you're talking about. I gotcha. I mean, I'll be honest. I didn't think it was that much of a reaction. It was fine. I was a little bit surprised, and I hated it for a minute, and then I kind of grew to love Elephant Mario, as we all must. Would you say Mario RPG is up there with Chrono Trigger in terms of quality? Close? I would say it, it's close. In my mind, Chrono Trigger has a little bit more something. I don't know what it is. That, that's just a personal thing there, but... Yeah. No, it's, it's really good. It's really good. You can speak of Mario RPG in the same sentence. Not to be a bit of an elitist about Chrono Trigger, but I, I kind of am. And, uh, I, yeah, I feel like Mario RPG is... ...really, really... ...quality. Great music. Pretty basic story, but you don't really mind when you're playing it. Hey. It's not about the story so much as it is the characters. Like, when you're playing Mario RPG... You know, you're, you're getting to learn... You're learning about Booster. For example. You're learning about... Um, Bowser's... Obsession. You're learning about Mallow's character and story. You're learning about Gino. 
that stuff is the good stuff. Otherwise, it's a very, very easy to follow basic story, but it fucking god damn it. How is this motherfucker doing so much damage? Yeah, but the charm of that game is just off the charts. Secret stones and henceforth sages. Talented individuals become sages by taking up secret stones. The other thing that really endears me to Mario RPG is just the world itself. I think that's my favorite iteration of... ...the Mushroom Kingdom. And then, like, all, like, the little, like, secret, like, Kulix, Kulix, whatever his name is, that dude, I like. Like, the, um, the sky, I really like. I like getting all the, the secret... Missable weapons. It's just a phenomenal game. I defeated the monsters, yeah? Have I had it wrong all these years? It's plain as day now. You can't defeat your enemies purely with defense. No, I had it wrong. If you just attack, you're gonna get hurt or worse. We need to find balance. Oh. Well, we're gonna give you a good reward. It's hog on a stick. It's my father's recipe. Ah. I can go back and investigate the stone slab. It's one of five ring-shaped ruins that fell in the area. They're all floating. They're all broken open except for the floating one within the village itself. Chambers with stone slabs are exposed. Huh. Details becoming a sage. Apparently, not only did you need to be exceptional in some way, you also needed a secret stone. Yeah, it's lightning time. I played that Myth Force game. I did. I played like a de the demo of it. It's all right. Yeah. Well, you'll see if you watch the Full Sauce channel, you'll see me play it. But yeah, it was all right. needs a little something, whatever that may be. I'm not sure what it is, but visually it's absolutely phenomenal. But you'll, if you watch my, my video of me playing it, you'll see. I liked it. But I had a couple things to say. Is it true Nintendo, like, did a copyright on Ascend? Will there be more bolt gun vids? Perhaps. Perhaps when I return from my convention.
It worked? Ball. Vinny, when's the last time you had a milk mustache? Mario doesn't approve of milk mustaches. He took the sponsorship money from milk back in the 90s. And he has recently gone on record saying that milk is a scam. Sorry, everyone, I don't make the rules. I can't wait for Elephant Mario cereal. Down with big milk, up with big milkers. Yes, chat member. Wait, what? B-A-S-T-E, says chat members. This way. Fuck! 55 burgers, 55 fries, 55 tacos, 55 fries. Then he stopped using a two-handed weapon. I agree. Uh, you know, Aonuma said that the this Zelda formula, the open world formula, is going to be the you know what they use as a template going forward. <laughs> Which I'm I'm okay with, I'm, you know, especially if we continue to get classic Zelda. But now that we're done with this version of Hyrule, I would imagine. I can see more I play this game, and the more I remember Breath of the Wild, the more room for improvement I see. So, I do think it could happen. It's just a matter of... It's just a matter of figuring out how to, like... Take this concept... Maybe condense it a little bit. I'll be honest, I feel like that that's probably one of the things I would like the most. Is to just, like, further condense. And, um, we can... 
you know, we've done all this physics-based stuff by now, and it's cool, but... And there's gonna be more powerful hardware, so I'd still be down for physics-based stuff, but I'm wondering if there's a way to, like... I don't know. Incorporate it, but not have it be as integral? And I like it. I, I do like it. I'm just trying to figure out how to, like, ward this, because I do like this game quite a bit. But yeah, having the same Hyrule twice, and this game does feel like a sequel to me. I've said it before, it doesn't feel like a cash-in. By any means. Yes, cock! But yeah, um, maybe going back to that Zelda 1 thing, and like, you know, bookending Hyrule with lots of, lots of dungeons, as opposed to just a couple. And I've liked the, th the three dungeons I've done. They haven't been, like, as good as, like, the Forest Temple or anything. But I also wonder, could they do an open-world Zelda game like this, and yet still... still do item progression? And dungeons, like classic dungeons and classic item progression? So... If you combine this with that sort of thing, I wonder what that would look like. I feel like dungeons always gave you an item that unlocked a lot of potential, which these lack. They do, yeah. Well, the design philosophy was give Link all of the major tools that he needs from the beginning, so that way you can defeat Ganon as soon as you want. And while I like that level of freedom, and I like the idea of going everywhere and not really having very many limits, and just kind of using whatever tools you have to get wherever you need to go, I think they can still make that Zelda 1 style game with just a couple restrictions. And still keep it open world and feeling like you have a lot of freedom. And then, you know, the character, the player unlocks all these different items. Like the hookshot. So, it just makes me wonder what Aonuma is doing right now. Like, what are you up to, Aonuma? What's up? What are you, what are you up to? You think he's watching Heat? The 1995 Michael Mann film? Starring Val Kilmer and Robert De Niro. He's probably watching Heat. <laughs> huh? W w what just rolled out there? Is that what I think it is? So the strange artifact was intended to produce Zonai devices, huh? But why would the Zonai people have built such a thing? Eighty-five to ninety hours in, we're finally seeing Kakariko Village. Some shit really fell on the village, huh? I need to call Paya, she's crying. The mole on her left butt cheek is crying. It's real! Chad, that's real! That was in Breath of the Wild, you learned that. Mm? It's my grandmother, she got too close to that nasty gloom. Porridge is the only thing that can she can keep down. I'm trying to mix in ingredients that could help with gloom sickness. Hylian rice, fresh milk, and wild greens. <laughs> Hylian... Do I have fresh milk? No, right? Huh? <laughs> 
They sell fresh milk at Hateno. What the fuck? Okay, sorry. I've been training Kukos to swoop on any rapscallions who try to mess with these trees. You heard of guard dogs? Well, try guard cuckoos. Hurting my garden isn't a mistake someone will make more than once. Ring ruins. As uh, on a survey team. I took care of that already. You need a secret stone to be a sage, but what's the secret stone? Ooh. Only three left? Wait, really? Did I already find another one? Oh. <laughs> Shit, sorry. God, there's so many rules. Man, I was listening to a song and it told me there were no rules, man. I don't know what the fuck to think, man. Are there no rules? Korok here somewhere. <laughs> Ma! There's a Korok living under the house! It's fucking weird! One day, Grandmother said to me, You've grown up, Paya. It took me by surprise, so I simply nodded. She nodded back and said, It's settled, as of today you are the chief, and so it was. Suddenly, I was the chief. But what can I hope to achieve? Just like my grandmother, I have, I do have Dorian as, at my, as my aid, for which I am grateful. Yet, for some reason, he seems troubled. Grandmother has become obsessed with old books. I'm hesitant to reach out to her with my concerns. I fear the chief's hat that... I fear this chief's hat that grandmother has given me is too heavy for me to bear. Literally, it hurts. Rather hurts my head. It happened suddenly without warning. I was so frightened by the impact. It was though someone had taken hold of this world and given it a violent shake. The air grew stagnant. Weapons decayed and ruins fell from a somber sky shrouded in dark clouds. How unfortunate, or how fortunate rather, that none of the villagers were injured. As for the village itself, it has been utterly transformed. Five large ring-shaped ruins fell down upon the village, and a large opening in the ground has been spotted at the East Hill. Even with everything that is happening, Grandmother just said that she was going to set out on a journey with Kato. I tried to stop her from going at a time like this, but she insisted that such times are precisely why she must go. I had no choice but to bid her farewell. Her eyes seemed to wordlessly say that she was shouldering some great mission. Eleven peculiar symbols depicting in the books. We did that already. I told Pura of Lookout Landing to keep her hands off of my man Link. I mean, about our village's situation. She said ring-shaped ruins are incredibly unusual. Realizing this could be a good opportunity to help the village, I made arrangements with the Zonai survey team at once. I returned to greet them, and that's when Princess Zelda arrived at the village. She seemed almost like a doll of herself, the same outside, but no spirit within. I could not hide my uncertainty. 
She forbade anyone from entering the broken and partially floating ruin, and then she left, just like that. She did not mention the village's awful condition, or have any words of kindness for our, villi our villagers. The Zonai survey team has arrived at our village. Their leader, Tauro, is truly incredible and has already found a clue in the quest to decipher the Zonai writing. I tentatively named the ruins that fell upon our village the Ring Ruins. It seemed the obvious choice. The villagers have treated me with such warmth. They have even embraced my decision for us to coexist with the Ring Ruins. Of their own volition, some of the villagers volunteered to aid research and others for patrol duty. It is humbling to behold. Dorian's sweet little daughter Coco even crafted souvenir items called Ring Garlands. Before I knew it, our days of never having visitors had passed. Our quiet village seems to have regained its vigor. Before all else, we must learn more about the Ring Ruins. It is my responsibility as chief to see that it is done. I intend to full, uh, sorry, I intend to fulfill my duties as chief in a manner that is slightly different from my grandmother's way. Gone is the chief who sits in her hall with quiet wisdom. That is what the village needed of her then, but no longer. I must keep moving forward so that when she returns, I can greet my dear grandmother with a triumphant smile. Oh, that's it. Good grief, it's Lady Pia's duty to take care of the village, but whenever I take my eyes off of her, she's elbow deep in some trivial new problem. I- Hmm? Ooh. Who- Is that really you? L Link? Why, it's been some time. You gave me quite a shock. I didn't expect to see you appear here in our village. And right now, too, while our chief is- uh, I suppose you haven't heard. The former chief, Lady Impa, retired. Now Lady Paya is the chief of Kakariko Village. I've been working as her assistant, but Lady Paya is ignoring her responsibilities. She won't listen to anything I say. All these ring ruins have her full attention. Uh. Even now she's under one of the ring ruins with the Zonai survey team. That ruin over there. Yo. I wonder, maybe seeing you will remind her about her responsibility as, as chief. Will you do me a favor and stop by to see Lady Paya? are the most intriguing ruins I've researched, especially this one, the way part of it floats up there. You had the foresight to focus on all these special ruins and invite the survey team to take a look right away. I'm impressed, Chief Paya. Oh no, I, I'm no chief. I just couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. I'm really a chief in name only since I still have a great deal to... Hmm? Oh, is that you, Master Link? I'm so happy I get to see you again. Mm. I'm overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. Kind of kills it. Oh. If, I do, if I do that voice for her, huh? What? Princess Zelda is missing. Uh, that just confuses the matter more. You see, I actually met with the princess not too long ago. It was immediately after the upheaval. Princess Zelda came here to Kakariko Village. She ordered us to stay far away from the ring ruins that... Ring ruin that floats above us, no matter what. I saw her myself, the princess, right before my eyes. Oh. And she left as soon as she arrived. I wasn't able to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. But this ruin does look like it could crash down at any moment. That's what Pai and I suspect, at least. Mm. But still, I know you would not misspeak, Master Link, especially on a matter of such importance. How confusing. Ah. Oh, my apologies, Master Link. I was so pleased to see you, I completely forgot common courtesy. This is Mr. Tauro. Ah. I invited him here to investigate the ring ruins that fell on our village. Ah. 
he has incredibly deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's even familiar with Zonai scripts. He is truly an incredible, talented individual. Oh, and he's got big muscles too, huh? <laughs> It is clear that that floating ring ruin uh, that we were forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. Several more ring ruins with such a shape have fallen down around the village. Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that a stone slab with writing was found at each side. Deciphering the text showed that each slab contained rather interesting content, including mention of sages, Still, so much we don't understand. Aww. I think that perhaps the ru ruin floating in the air also has a slab that makes mention of the Aww. sages. I can't investigate it, as that would go against Princess Zelda's direct orders. If only I could meet with her again, I'm sure I could persuade her to change her Aww. mind. In any case, I'm having trouble squaring your story about Princess Zelda with the Princess Zelda we met. If everything's alright, why won't she just show herself? Mm. She must have some reason until we find out Princess Zelda's true intentions. Um, we have no choice but to trust her and leave that ruin alone. Mm. Master Link, that is to say, um, I I'm terribly grateful that you've come to speak with me, truly. However, you're, um, just a bit, a, a bit too, um, a, a bit underdressed, don't you think? The hat stays on. Mr. Link, I, I have certainly come a long way when it comes to my shyness, especially around you. Uh, oh, I, I mean around heroes like you, I mean. Still, it would help a great deal, that is to say, if it's not too much trouble. Could you just maybe put a shirt on? Mm. The boots stay on. Uh? I neglected to tell you this earlier, Master Link. I've taken over the title of Chief, we know. Naturally, I still have a long way to go before I truly earn that title, but I intend to follow that path from first step to last. The upheaval brought with it big changes for our village. Afterward, we learned that the ring ruins were true rarities, with certain features that are not present anywhere else. Because of that, we now have tourists coming to the village to view them. Can you believe it? From now on, the ring ruins will be the cornerstone of ensuring the vitality of our village. As Kakariko Village Chief, that is how I think of them. A blessing born from tragedy. Mm. Know that I will always support you if you ever need anything of this village. We are here for you. Thanks. Ew. Hey, I'm Link, asshole. I can do that. Mm. Haven't you heard? It's strictly forbidden to get near there. Oh. I have a senduende. I can get up there. Chat, I hear there's there's a couple more weapons that, that are like classic weapons that I haven't gotten. Like the one from Skyward Sword. I would like to get that. So that way I could just have it... You know... Sit in my inventory and never use it. That's a long quest. Okay. Nothing works on this fuck. You need to do quest for all three springs. Okay, that's another time then. The Fierce Deity Sword would be cool. I need the rest of the Fierce Deity deity outfit, but I also don't want to, like, not do the Zora dungeon today. I promised. Dirty. So, I can't go up there until later, huh? Chad, is there anything else that needs doing in Kakariko right now, or should I maybe just come back later? I could visit the clothing store, I guess.
could destroy their famous pumpkins. Oh, right. Wait. Radiant mask? Radiant shirt. 5,000? For a fucking gimp outfit? 5,000 for this, too? Oh, welcome. Sorry, I just drifted off. I'm so tired lately. Look. I know it won't help to talk about it, but I'm going to do it anyway. My grandmother's really sick. Oh, we got to do the porridge quest. I've had to hike up the prices on everything. You can't get your hands on CC brand fashion unless you go to Hitano. I'll... I'll just... I'll get the porridge, then. Yeah. Who are you again? It's me, War Wartsworth. Do you like my art? Oh. One's held ye on or I'll swatch my spidita, but are so harfen. Her on these great stan or twelve twelve more. With I'll make ye indite me in time with the royal family. So much the horse read just molden. Ah. No record of anyone by that name in any of the of the other texts, but there's evidence that the name Zelda is much older than the princess. It dates all the way back to Hyrule's founding. Oh. Mm. Oh. Twelve more tablets to find. Mm. Oh. So now I have to take pictures of all of the fucking tablets? I'm not doing that. Star Island time? Oh, the star-shaped islands. It gives you money, a hundred rupees a piece. I'll tell you what, if I happen across one anyway, I'll do it. And you get a fabric for doing all of them. Where's the eat shit shrine? Where's the milk? Is that- that's the farm, right? General- general store. Okay. I mean, the least I can do is help this person's grandmother. Hopefully this is open at night, because otherwise we're going to have to steal it. Oh. <laughs> oh. So the ingredients were Hylian rice, Hylian fries, Hylian tacos, Hylian fries.
No, what was what were the ingredients? Rice, milk, sundelion. Rice, milk, Hyrule greens, and Sunderlion. Just look at them. What, those chickens? Man, I need more arrows. This, this just keeps happening. Okay, milk. Rice. Sunderlion. And the other one was greens? No, that's that's enough. Here you go. Porridge rhymes with door hinge, Eminem told me. Does the porridge have glass from the milk bottle too? Especially has glass from the milk bottle. That gives it its its texture. Such a gentle flavor. It didn't just nourish my body, but my spirit, too. Thanks to you my, and my granddaughter, it seems like I'll be around for a long time yet. You're doing much better after one bowl of porridge. She wants to make Enchanted a success. Ah. Go study hard in Hateno Village and come back to us a fashion <laughs> icon. Just, oh god, don't bring the CC designs here, whatever you do. Someone said that the grandmother looks a little bit like Vine Ryzen. It's Grand Ryzen. Yeah. It's the moon. Oh, by the way, in the um, Ocarina of Time rando, randomizer, uh, Chaos Edition, do you remember when it said there's six hours that remain and it started counting down like Majora's Mask? And some fake developer was like, there's no moon, don't worry about it. 
God damn it. Well, it turns out there was, in fact, the moon. I just didn't see it. And that was not the real developer in chat. I know. Okay, we're getting a full lesson. Oh my god. I, I know, I'm sorry, I stepped on your dirt. Goodbye. This guy is battered! Holy she! Oh god, these are expensive still. They're just a different kind of expensive. Also... Where's the well? I need to get down there. Go to the town Felcher to get arrows. Hmm. No, I think I'm gonna pass on going to the town Felcher. Someone had to name that disgusting act, by the way. Someone... Someone in this world was like, what should we call this thing that we invented with the straw? Hmm. Has anyone named anything Felching yet? No, I think that word is available, Nathan. Well, that's what it's called from this point forward. And yes, the store increased their prices by a tremendous amount. It's a little ironic that that would be down here. Grandma's sick. We have to increase our prices by up to nearly ten times. Like, eight to nine times. It's fine. We, we will sell these eventually to some... rich... dumbass. Oh, is that a submarine pulling up? My beloved husband always gives it his all when working in service of others. I admire that about him. He's been working himself to the bone ever since being granted the honor of guarding Lady Impa. I wish for him to always be in good health and good spirits. That's why I made him a tough meat stuffed pumpkin, using fortified pumpkin and fresh meat. I was thrilled that he kept saying it was tasty and going back for more. I hope it filled his heart as well as his stomach. My little Kotla, my perfect girl, I love her very much. She truly is the apple of my eye. Speaking of which, she seems to have quite a taste for hot buttered apple. She's an adorable little squirrel, always stuffing her cheeks full of them. Uh, Coco is my precious treasure. As a sibling, she's an absolute sweetheart. She cares so deeply for her little sister. Ever since Kotla was born, Coco doesn't ever whine or complain anymore. She is so strong and wonderful. So, th this is their- their mother, like, died, right? What was she doing down here? <laughs> the Yiga killed her. Oh, okay. I forgot about that. Um, chat members. What did I need for arrows? It was like... 
cave fish or something. It was a glowing cave fish, no? Glowfish. I think I need like 10 of them. Well, listen, I should get some arrows and then I'm gonna head over to the Zora. He says. Knowing full well he will not see a single fish tonight. I have seven of them. I think I need three more. So if I could just find a quick, quick cave. I mean, there are pretty much caves everywhere, so. Just go to first Sky Island. Just need two more. sword. It just shoots bees. It's not good. Oh, thank you for knocking that upright. mentioning the pain. Well, Metal Gear Solid 3 is coming to the Switch. Not the remake. But some, hopefully, not overly bastardized form of the original. It's also coming to PC. It, I'm more concerned about Metal Gear Solid 4. Because that is the game that is, like, impossible to play these days, unless you have a PS4. MGS4 is never getting ported. Well, from what I understand, the way the PS4... Sorry, PS3, PS3. Um, the way the PS3 was designed, like, the... The whole thing with the PS3 was that it was overly complicated. The cell architecture, yeah. And, um, MGS4 in particular is, like, apparently an emulation nightmare. Someone said, I can't wait for MGS4 re-release to come to theaters. 
honestly, that's kind of the thing about Metal Gear Solid 4. You could probably just watch it like a TV show. Like, eight hour-long episodes. With some intermittent gameplay, just to help it make a little bit more sense. Last cutscene is 71 minutes. I did, in fact, stream it, and I'm not trying to plug my stream of it, but it was wild, and I enjoyed it a lot. But also, that game is... It's very movie. And less game. Have a random guy play it for everyone else at the theater. I wouldn't recommend a theater, of, uh, though, because y you know what's going to happen. People are going to shit themselves. Wow, these, these Horoblins are really fucking assholes, huh? Genova is still on the boat. They have a real scummy scream when they die, don't they? I'm still having an issue with... Oh, shit. with, um, audio delay. And it's just my fucking sound card. I think. Or I don't even have a sound card. I think it's just my motherboard. But... I don't know what other drivers to install. If anyone is, like, particularly good about that, I'm, my Realtek drivers on this machine just have an inherent delay from my microphone. And, uh, that also means that if I get an audio splitter, like, to literally extract audio from my capture card for real-time audio. It doesn't work. Because there's still that delay. I did a bunch of experiments. But, uh, get a sound card? I'm a little worried about getting a sound card, because last time I had a sound card, I had the bleeping. Remember the bleeping in VR? Among other issues. Vinny, why do you just throw weapons away? I don't get it. I, I... Their smug aura mocks me, and I don't want them in my inventory. I like having at least one space for a weapon, for some reason. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know if anyone is particularly knowledgeable about this this topic. Vinesauce.email is the contact form. If it means I have to just get a uh, a sound card, I wouldn't be 100% opposed to it. But I've I've had one in the past and it caused problems. And once I get playing the video game like I'm doing now, I don't notice it as much. But it's still, like, almost a second of delay, so... You know, Link goes a little late. It's a little bit better for you on your end, chat members, because there's a little bit of video delay.
don't even need these things anymore. The reward for all of them is shit. No, that's the reward for all of the Korok stuff. looks cool. Oh, what's that? We got Borged? Who do we get Borg? It, it, it Charborg? <laughs> Lieutenant Borg. Thank you for the right. <laughs> Thanks, Charborg. I appreciate that. Yeah, if, if anyone didn't watch it yesterday, we played Star Trek Bridge Crew with uh, Charborg, Ross, and uh, Kriken, and we had a pretty good time. Lot of, um... You know, we actually succeeded more than we failed. At least we left. But we also, uh, me and Ross are big Star Trek people, and, uh, Charborg and Kriken knew next to nothing about it, so that, that made for a good dynamic. I enjoyed that very much. We're not Trekkies, okay? Which, it's Trekkers. By the way, that was an actual debate in the 90s, of, like, is it Trekkies or Trekkers? And people would get upset if they were called Trekkies. Some people would be like, No, I'm not, no, 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 not Trekkie. Chad, this is where, if I had a, a choice of living anywhere in Hyrule, it would probably be here. Like, this would have been my home. I mean, clearly it's been destroyed, but... I like it here. I don't know. It's like the waterfall, I guess. Huh? Customer? Welcome to Moses Hideaway Restaurant, home of the ultimate dish. Truth is, we haven't officially opened. You must have a good nose. <laughs> Smells, uh, delicious. For I, Moza, have performed a miracle. After years of cul culinary experimentation, one failed dish after another, I mastered the ultimate ah. dish. Here's the technique. Take a failed dish, pound it into shape, cook it again. Take it to the next level. Ah. 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 Uh, okay. Um... Alright. Yeah, I'm a Trekkie. <laughs> so what, like, if I f take that and I combine it with, like, that... Here you go. Ah. Here's a bad one. Let's see this culinary disaster. You! Oh god, this fucking meal is sick. It makes me want to fucking cry. Christ. Ah. It's dangerous to leave this bee. I'll cook it, pound it, and make it ultimate. 
five rupees? She wasn't even near the pot. I mean, she's clearly on the pot. Oh, no respect. Uh. Monster stew. Meat and seafood simmered in monster extract. This fucking... this shit is raw. It's made... of MONSTER! <laughs> Sh yes, Chef. You have fucking taken a monster and extracted it into a dish. This thing tastes like shit. Absolute shit! Do you hear me? SHIT! Yes, Chef. What are you?! <laughs> fucking idiot, Chef. I'm still so upset that I didn't get a chance to see that goddamn Gordon Ramsay thing, that show, live. Fucking regret of a lifetime. It's good shield, I like this shield, yes. No, never mind. Are you spitting at me? Is, is this the lizard that spit? I do like this a lot. That's like probably one of my favorite pieces to uh, make into a weapon. Gopanga. No, really, Gopanga Island. Isn't that the swamp in Link's Awakening? Or am I inventing that? We really need to warp. We can kind of just get there. I'll just get a little closer. I want to, um... I was gonna say take the long way in. Just so we can explore, but I guess I don't really need to do that, do I? Chat. The, uh, the song Up Scenery. The first song on the Queens of the Stone Age new album. Fucking love it. It's been stuck in my head for the past couple days. That that one didn't immediately hit, and now it's maybe one of my favorites. Really, really good album. That's why it's always like kind of worth waiting a little bit, especially like how you judge a video game. But music for me 
can take different forms. Like, it, it, it might... It might be good the first listen, and then the next, like, two or three listens, it might be better. And then by the time I've listened to it, like, five times, it's my favorite album. That said, there are some albums I can't even get past the first couple listens. Like, I'll give, I'll give you an example, and I hate to say this because I, I love this band, but Depeche Mode put out an album that did almost nothing for me. It had that single that I liked, and maybe, like, two other songs were pretty okay, but I listened to it, like, twice. Couldn't, I couldn't do it. I might give it another shot at some point. Oh shit, what's going on here? Oh my god! Oh my, oh my god! <laughs> Chat. Was there text on this? Oh, it's just real small. Okay. Sidetrack again! If you can believe it! There's a Korok under that. Ah, oh, rip Korok. It's fine. Shit's falling from the sky constantly around here. Oh, wasn't I supposed to get arrows? That was, like, the thing I wanted to do. Alright. Alright. Chad, I'm gonna make a cannon Roomba, because I don't feel like dealing with these enemies alone. Locking onto the bees, huh? Very easily distracted. All it takes is a couple of bees. God, 
how do I get rid of this weapon? Uh. was the wrong thing. I didn't want to do that. Opal destroyed. I mean, there had to have been a better way to do the scrolling. I know I've said that a bunch, but come on, there had to have been. Weren't there lizards here in Breath of the Wild when it was raining? And this was like a good place to farm arrows, if I'm not mistaken. Frame rates you got here in this area. the same this isn't any different from breath of the wild right they're new oh well again i hope you don't mind that i go quickly through them Use that to that rock. Yeah, two FPS. The perfect, the perfect solution to this. Actually, was. Ah! Mm. <laughs> yeah. I'm not distracted. Okay, maybe a little bit.
Hello there. It's a shitty Lizalfos camp. All right, th no, this is fine because uh, there is one more distraction I wanted to do, which is th uh, this. The Zora stuff is good when fused and wet. What do you mean, and wet? No, it's not that I, I hate the story, it's that we're probably going to hear it three or four times from the people in the village as well. Two times damage in water. Okay, so, if I remember correctly, the bird that gives arrows was up here somewhere. Okay, I've got him. Oh, it was only three? <laughs> Chif Chilfin, Trout, and Brightcaps. So she wants different fish. She loops between different required items. Oh, that was not really worth it, was it? All right, I'm gonna go get that Zora sword. May roar. Today was a good day for Mayroar fans. If you like Mayroar, you're going to get several games. I know I said it before, but it just really is unfortunate that Zora's Domain became the toilet of Hyrule. Karma for what their king did? What did their king do? I'm assuming that's on the stone tablets, or is that just something I've forgotten about? Oh, oh, right, right. I'm a weep. Normally I would get something like that pretty quickly, but I guess tonight's just not my night. Yeah, he ma weeped and he... I guess he just let all of Hyrule's water flow through his salty balls and asshole. For years. But then again, this is a different, like, generation of Hyrule, so...
What do you mean? Did you not play Ocarina of Time? In Ocarina of Time, King Zora is sitting at the source of all of the water. And let me tell you, that shit stink. And then he went, weep. 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 Very slowly, mind you, and made us wait. A very, very, very long time. And we loved it, because back in my day, those were games! Ladder? No, I, I don't know ladder, I only know ascend. Oh, this place is disgusting. I can help, I just need to... There we go. Oops. It's the wrong thing. Traveler, we are in debt to you for this great deed that sludge was mar uh, that was marring the turning tide has disappeared completely. I must report this to Lady Yana at once. However, I fear if I met with Lady Yana, I may dispel the contents of my stomach upon her noble self. Ugh. Covered in shit? Oh. Who would have thought you would be so kind as to wash away the sludge marring our beloved statue? Still, I cannot help but mourn over the fact that I will likely never manage to get splash fruit back in my shop. Uh -huh. To be fair, you used up all the splash fruit trying to clean up the sludge in the square. You were too careful and had trouble hitting the sludge, so you probably wasted about half of them. Lady Yana was so sweet to have comforted you, Clef. Indeed, it is Lady Yana's kindness alone that brings me some semblance of peace. Beyond the sludge, my real problem is the weapons that decayed because of the upheaval. Or st still, the distinguished trade of blacksmithing is utterly changed in this day and age. Uh, have a blade that's all ready to shatter? Just take a monster horn or fang, stick it on, and that's it. Job is done. Yeah. My father's generation saw the state of things today. They would certainly flood the domain with their tears. Those are the tears of the kingdom. Uh, I'm so sorry. Everyone has been treated now. But we have used up all of the splash fruit. Mm. There were more injuries than anticipated. Please accept my apology. <gasps> you have nothing to apologize for. You did what had to be done. Wide! Most importantly, I am grateful that everyone is alright. Now, if we could only do something about that statue. What fish is this based on, chat? It's real flat and wide and weird. It's like a manta ray. Okay. Oh, you are, are you a traveler? I am sorry I did not notice you until now. I was focused on a matter of great importance. Zora's domain is in troubled times at present, present due to the sludge falling from the sky. Things have finally calmed down, at least for the moment. However, this precious statue remains covered in sludge. No. We were just discussing how we need to wash away the sludge. Perhaps a black hole sun? Regardless, I... Wait, what is this? Whoa. The sludge. I see you managed to wash it away. <laughs> statue is a symbol of hope for the Zora. It is very precious to us. Thank you so much for cleaning it up, but 
In truth, that statue depicts the majestic forms of the pair who saved this cherished domain in the past. <laughs> That's right. Beloved Prince Sidon of the Zora and his very best friend, Sir Link, the heroic Hylian swordsman. <gasps> it is simply wonderful. Is it not? Oh, I would love to meet him someday. Say, you have a similar statue, stature to the Hylian hero, similar eyes as well. Oh my, and you are also a Hylian. And a swordsman. Wait, could it be? Ah! Are you Link? The swordsman of legend? Mm -hmm. uh, please remember to mind your manners, Chroma. Uh... Oh, uh, please accept my apology. Yes. Pardon our rudeness. Whoa. I'm quite surprised to learn that you are the legendary swordsman, Link. I have heard mention of you nearly every day since I first arrived at this domain. I am Prince Sidon's... Oh, forgive me. I am your best friend's fiancé. My name is Yana. <laughs> I am truly honored to have the opportunity to meet you, Sir Link. I, I, like, I'm enjoying all this and, like, reading the story. I look over at chat. They're like, no, please! Cartoon fish waifu and husband. I am on the internet too much. I had heard that you were missing along with Princess Zelda. If I may ask, what brings you here? <sighs> to think that such a thing took place beneath Hyrule Castle. And now you are try I think the best practice as a streamer is to insult your audience. Um, and now you are traveling the kingdom to investigate. So, your search for Princess Zelda is what brought you to this domain. Sure. In that case, feel free to investigate the area around the domain as thoroughly as you see fit. Oh, I have a lovely idea. If you do not mind, I ask that you please go and meet with Sidon. I am certain that he would be delighted to see you. Sidon can be found at Mipha Court, located at the peak of Ploimus Mountain. Oh. Lady Yana, it is time. I fear we must be going now. Oh. Forgive me, Sir Link, but I must be on my way. Hmm? Ah, but if it pleases you, after you have met with Sidon, perhaps you could visit me at the infirmary on the floor above. <laughs> I am determined to be of assistance to you as best I can, Sir Link. Flesh dress? Oh yeah. Interesting that these fish people have evolved flesh dresses. So Hylian was able to make it to the domain. That's encouraging. But then you are very special, Link. Sasan is not um special in the same way. I'd like to stay uh, for free, please. You saved us, Link, and you saved our domain, and you, you cleaned the statue. Wow. You're amazing. That'll be 20 rupees. Oh, yeah, don't worry. We, we really appreciate you, Link, but, you know, we need the money. Disgusting. Oh, I bet that smells awful down there. Oh, 
Greetings, did you come to see Prince Sidon? Oh, if you're looking for Prince Sidon, he can be found at Mipha Court. That place can be found at the Ploymus Mountain. It has such an exquisite view, I've considered not telling others about it. Although, I suppose I just did. Mm. Sidon's children. My impression of King Dorofen is really good, isn't it? Uh, he's not in the domain right now, but... Ah, uh, never mind, I'm not gonna say. It's a big secret. My brother's super into pretending he's King Dorofan. Better not get carried away and say stuff he's not supposed to, though. Tumbo, you're amazing. You sound just like King Dorofan. Ha <laughs> ha, wait, what was that? One ha too many? Or... Ugh, this is hard. Talk to Yana. Where is, where is Yana? The infirmary? This sludge really is quite stubborn. I dearly hope our patients recover soon. Oh. Lady Yana, Sir Link is here at last. Oh. oh, you really came. How fortuitous. I was hoping to speak with you about an item that you entrusted the domain with repairing. Your Zora armor. Huh. The repair is mostly complete, but it does require just one more thing. I need an, I need an ancient arowana. Can finish the armor right away if I can somehow acquire a scale from that fish. We've not seen ancient arowanas around lately, and I have no idea where they can be found. Hmm. Maybe Dento knows where to get one. <laughs> Allows you to climb waterfalls with ease. Right, I remember that. Oh, I have one already. Man. Whoa. 90 hours. Mm. They're the starting area fish. Oh. Yes, yes. Where's the rest of it? <laughs> Whoa. Can can you get me the upgraded version that I had previously? Thank you for the raid of seven chat members, chat member. But no, really, where where is the rest of it? It's later? Okay. They had to replace the stones. And Sidon's like, I'm gonna write journal entries on these giant elaborate stones.
I mean, he was told to do something, so I mean, I probably would not have anything better. I'd probably recite my famous, um, vomit in the ball pit story. Maybe I'll just, like, if I had to, I'd put, like, vomit in the ball pit, step right up, take a shit. Maybe that would be my, uh... That would be my... ...attempt at being cool and deep on the stones. So we're going up there. And I do have a warp point. But I do want to also explore a little bit. Vinny, you should tell us a new story, one we haven't heard yet. Let me go back in time and live some different stories real quick. This isn't a Misko cave, is it, chat? <laughs> You'd be able to tell by the banners. Because I realize now that I'm done with the boobles... Like, I don't really need to be here. I mean, it's fun to explore, but this is just an extra, like... Massive sidetrack. But yeah, if it's armor, I have no problem with that. Oh, this is where the frog outfit comes in. How much of that? Do I have? I mean, it's decayed. God damn it, you have not... I, I still don't know how they settled on this as, like, the best possible way to get their powers. Whistling needed its own dedicated button. Very important for all those times you use a horse. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if you could just, like, do this? 
and press like M, the M button, and then you could whistle. Definitely room for improvement. Stuff that you would have imagined would have been improved by the time this game came out. And obviously, I do love this game, so please don't, like, start uh, feeling like, Bootis attacking this game, I love. No, I love it too, but man, there's definitely room for improvement. It's good to, I mean... I don't know how Anuma and the team feel about it, but it is good to be very honest with oneself and with the the creations that we enjoy, I guess. I don't know why I'm saying it like that, but... And just kind of, you know, let Anuma know. <laughs> like, yeah, great game. You did a great job. You and the team did really cool stuff. But, however, here's a couple things that could be even better next time. Though, again, I have a feeling whatever they do next isn't going to be based off of the Breath of the Wild formula. Or it will be, but I mean the world. I said this earlier, but like, I could see a whole new Hyrule. I could see a whole new, like, uh, aesthetic even. Various gameplay elements that would be completely different. DLC could fix it. Well, DLC could, you know, definitely change it, that fix the UI and change some stuff. But uh, at this point, the sages are just the sages. It's not the worst problem, but it's something that can be a little annoying. And, uh, they'd have to redo the entire... Oh, look. Another Gliok. They'd have to redo, like, that entire thing. So yeah, I don't expect any changes to the Sages or anything for the DLC. I, maybe some UI stuff, maybe some quality of life stuff. Which should also be fine. You're not a Korok. More Zonai devices. I would like to see more house customization. More Zonai devices would be cool. Maybe, like, another dungeon for the DLC. Um, you know, we could just maybe remove durability on weapons that are legacy weapons. Like I've said a thousand times, that would be an easy fix. That won't get done. I need to kill this, because it has a, a weapon I like. I need your head. Well, more specifically, the horn on your head.
Got any Karoks here? No. Does anyone call them Karoks? I don't know why anyone would, but I'm just wondering, do you? Someone does. Hello there. Of all people, it's the one and only Link. Welcome, is what I'd like to say. The thing is, we're conducting an investigation of the ruins here. If you're looking for Prince Sidon, he can be found at Mipha Court. That's on the peak of Ploymus Mountain. The investigation results are in. Shit's fucked. <laughs> there appears to be some kind of poop leaking from the sky. That's the scientific term, of course. No. No. Where are you going? God. Once again, the frame rates just do not like this whole sludge thing. Again, I, I like that. It's like one of my favorite things to put on a weapon. And it's powerful. Like it's actually worth having uh, beyond that the fact that it just looks cool. Where'd it go? Uh, oops. <laughs> Anecdote one, the solid water and the fluid spear, as told by Prince Sidon. They can manipulate the water. They swim faster and jump and stuff. They're chums. <laughs> I don't know. They chum the water. So that's when he learned to be a spearsman.
you can do this with just one Zora piece. Oh. Forgot about that. Yeah. It's a big treasure chest yeah. for just a tiny gem like a topaz. Are you a fishing enthusiast? Oh, no, I'm getting carried away. In any case, if you're looking to catch some fish, this is the best spot. That's all thanks to Prince Sidon. He's cleaned up, cleaning up the water in Mifa Court, which is above us. I don't know what I'm missing. Some chat messages. There, there's context that I'm missing. It's probably for the best. Well, we're finally here. Again. Finally awake. Mm -hmm. Shh, keep it down. The prince requires absolute quiet to concentrate on his important work. Wait, Link? You came to see Prince Sidon? Well, since it's you, that should be no problem at all. I'm sure Prince Sidon will be thrilled to see you. Nice. Link, it has been far too long. I received word that you had gone missing and was beside myself with concern. Whatever could have transpired? No! To think something like that could have taken place beneath Tyrell Castle, and afterward you mysteriously awoke on a sky island. The sky. Could it be that the sky is the key to everything after all? Ah, uh, my apologies. I have actually been wondering if those floating sky islands could be the source of the falling sludge. Yes. That is why I have tasked a Zora historian with investigating ruin fragments and all historical documents related to the sky. You don't need to do that. You could just look. As for me, I'm not at liberty to leave this spot at present, as I am uniquely qualified to deal with the sludge here. You see, old friend, this place is the source of the water that flows into Zora's domain. That is why I must use my power of water manipulation to separate the sludge from our water, in order to clean it. If I cease, then the sullied water will flow into our beloved home, and there will be much pain and suffering. That is why I cannot afford to leave here, no matter what. Hmm. Say, Link... Does it not seem that Princess Zelda's whereabouts might be related to the floating sky islands and the ruins? Hmm. If so, perhaps you should go and speak with our historian, Jato. His many years have blessed him with great wisdom. It is possible that you could provide he could provide you with some useful information. At present, you should be able to find Jato, continuing his investigation at Toto Lake. Hmm. By the way, I hope you know that I am truly happy to see you again after such a long time apart, my dearest friend. Visit me anytime you'd like. Your presence is never anything less than welcome and appreciated. He's so nice. Just nice. Like a nice, positive, like, 
human fish. It's nice to have that. What, isn't it? Wouldn't it be great if everyone had someone like Sidon in their life to just encourage them and like let them know that they're they're welcome and and uh, and wanted and inferior? Because of course you would be. Wow, I was wondering who that might be. It turns out to be none other than Link. Look, do you see how much Ploymus Mountain has changed? It now enshrines a glorious statue of Mipha. Ah, she looks after the Zora from here, just like she always did. The reason we can endure this sludge is because everyone's efforts, and also thanks to her kind protection. When does Link turn into an elephant? I don't know, I thought it would be funny. It's just a waste of an arrow. They should have made an interaction with the monument, like the monument guy from New Vegas. I don't know what that means, but I, I agree. It would be so wonderful if you could turn into a fish and crawl around. Like Muddy Mudskipper from the Ren Stimpy show. Do you ever see that show? Uh, d no, David Lynch. Oh, it would be so beautiful. Like Muddy Mudskipper. Do you think you can mudskip for me? Giotto keeps interacting with dangerous things when I object he insists it's necessary for his research to make things quite difficult for me. As it is my job to guard him. 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 That is why I gave in to a moment of grumbling. Vinny, are you tactfully ignoring the fanfic? I'm, I haven't seen it. Um, I just genuinely haven't seen the chat because I've been reading most of this time. When I play Zeld, I tend to enjoy getting into it. Hmm. This dignified presentation. Yes, the writing looks like waves upon a stormy sea. Extraordinary. This ancient stone slate was written by our Zora ancestors from the distant past and left for us to discover. Stand upon the land of the skyfish, a droplet, the watery bridge. I cannot decipher it. Hmm? Ah, oh, Link, yeah, my apologies. I was deep in thought. In any case, I have news. I have made a monumental discovery. This is undeniably an ancient Zora stone slate. Better still, upon its surface, there appears to be text regarding the sky. However, the slate is broken, and so am I. So I am unable to read it in its entirety. I deeply wish that I could view the full text. Alas, I fear that my fins are tied. There must be some way. Probably not that. Ah, 
Aha. Remove the water. Remove the water. Carry the water. What is this? The stone slate, I can hardly believe my eyes. Link it, I must thank you. Ah! Incredible, I can finally read it. Yes, I very well can. Stand upon the land of the skyfish and behold its lofty view among the floating rocks you see. A droplet waits for you. Through this droplet, shoot an arrow with the mark of the king. Do this task, and you shall receive a most wondrous thing. See the watery bridge's resting spot with your own two eyes, that which connects the Zora to the people of the skies. This mystery just leads us to another. Mark of the king. Perhaps it would be prudent to consult King Dorofan. He will be returning from his investigation of the sludge soon. I actually have to think about that for a minute. Like, do I actually want to? Uh, I'm gonna get it. And I'm gonna get the shrine while I'm at it, too. I'm not gonna do the shrine, I'm just gonna, like, get the warp point. Look how shiny it is. What, the Gleok? Absurd how much crap you need to hunt down to upgrade Link's iconic armor set. I mean, it was like that in Breath of the Wild too, but I, I agree. Like, it, it just becomes... It becomes so beautiful. No, it's just, it's a lot of effort. And then, like, there's a ton of sets of armor. So you can upgrade one, and then if you want to upgrade another one, you know, gotta get them stars. You could probably spend about a thousand hours in this game. Oh, that's a steering column. Will I make it before it disappears? That is always the question. Someone said they did 280 hours. It didn't just disappear, did it? Why, why did it disappear at 3 a.m.? 
I thought I had more time than that. Dude. Dude, I went out of my way. Dude. It falls down when you get close. I didn't get close enough for that to happen. That was kind of garbage. There's fierce deity armor around here. Oh, fuck, really? Like, I want to get that, but I also want to do uh, the Zora stuff. They meant around the shrine? Is the Gliok guarding it? No. Mind another Demon King bow. Trying to flurry rush kind of sucks. So I'm attaching chat. You you've mentioned before. Do I attach something to this or do I attach this to something? Attach it to something. What uh, what should I attach it to? Put it on the Master Sword. How about this? I will, but right now the Master Sword is about to break. Um, but yeah, is that Fierce Deity thing anywhere, like, really close? Or is it on this island? Okay. I was just talking about how I wanted to complete that set, so this is perfect, but let me- let me just see if I can find it. I was told to follow the bunny. Bunny! went down here. Oh. Oh. Oh! Cool, now I need the sword, and I have the complete set.
You get the sword now? What do you mean? Check the quest start. Don the fierce deity and return to this place. Oh, okay. I bet this is a pain in the ass to, to upgrade. Honestly, not really. Takes some time. You need every dragon part. I don't have very many dragon parts. Have you encountered the Lionel Coliseum yet? Yeah, on the surface and in the depths. And the depths one was a nightmare. I don't know what part that was in. So you could watch it, but yeah, I got I got my ass handed to me a couple times. I guess this is in a cave. I didn't even get the booble here. What was I thinking? this. You have done well to solve my riddles and reach this place. The fierce deity sword is yours to take. You've earned it. How'd you even acquire this, Misko? Peculiar great sword allegedly used by a hero from a world in which the moon threatened to fall. It slashes wildly in battle as it is possessed by a fierce deity. Man, it's a shame it looks so cool, like the full setup. I say it's a shame because I... Ugh, the fucking thing will break. You can buy more with Pose. Yeah, I'm aware of that. And you have like 900 pose. It's like a hundred. Weapons like this have the highest durability of each class. Alright, fuck it. Then you know what? We're gonna do it live. We're gonna use it. I'm gonna do the fierce deity thing. Um, but I, I also would like to very quickly just uh, go to a great fairy of some kind. I 
I've forgotten where they are. Depths armor. Yeah, I still need to get the rat. You hate Sidon, don't you? Oh. Sidon's fine. It's hard on. I don't like that guy is very hard to work with. Is a shrine here somewhere? Where's the shrine? Well, why is it beeping for a shrine I've already got, if that's the case, chat? It's in, it's in like a well or something, isn't it? can't really do very much. Guess we can do that. This is Nadra's Claw. So yeah, just a lot of dragon farming. Dragons? <laughs> don't don't say that. Okay, there's still the one great fairy I have not spoken to yet, and that'll really help my armor. But we'll do that another time. Chat, there's a shrine here. I really want it. Is it the Great Plateau? Don't see it. Check the depths. There's a hidden shrine on the Great Plateau. There are multiple hidden shrines. Oh, there it is. I don't know how I didn't see that from the sky, initially. We're gonna get to Prince Sidon. You, listen, he's great. I did the resurrection chamber thing.
is a really good friend. But I have to turn in some of my, my poop. <sighs> what do we turn in? Do we do bow, shield, or weapon? Weapon is 35. It's a lot. Shit is expensive. I think shield is 10. Okay, so we, we have to get more Koroks for that stuff. Is there an easy way to farm dragons? I'm not doing that now, but I mean, just in general. Like... You just camp out on them, keeping an eye on the sky. So you can, like, generally know where they're going to be because the name of the dragon coincides with the name of the region. And then you just wait. <laughs> Gotta watch Dragonheart. Is it the Sean Connery movie with the talking dragon? Was he in that? With, like, the really bizarre CG because it was, like, 1994 or 5. I was watching, there's this YouTuber that covers, um, like, knockoffs, right? So, like, he, I watched a video he did about Star Wars and, like, all the early knockoff movies that were just complete garbage. And the one I'm watching now is the James Bond one. And there was, like, a James Bond clone called, like, Little Connery or something. <laughs> or, like, John Connery. And they got a guy who looked like Sean Connery but with, a, like, a beard. And to play, like, a James Bond-type figure. I'm getting the name wrong of the movie, but it was very silly. And, but this YouTuber is amazing. He covers, um... It's a fascinating video. He, he also covers ego exploitation, Like, the most ridiculous, like, um... Like, Neil Breen, Tommy Wiseau. Stuff like that. I just want to get the name of the YouTuber, if you are interested. Borrowing Blockbusters, Bond Exploitation, the best worst James Bond knockoffs. It's the bad movie Bible. And you also get to watch the um like regional movies, like like the ones from Japan, for example, when 007 got real popular. Assassin. He's my best friend. He's also a Hylian like you. He hasn't been showing up to the domain. I will make sure Assassin will be back. Because this is fucked up. You poor little fish. Oh no, the poor fish. Was it called OK Connery? It might have been. Where's the king's chair? Am I... blind? Oh. King's in trouble. Super Dorphin. Punch. The sludge is so yucky. You got me, you big dumb monster. No choice, I'll have to hide in the secret spot, and that spot is... Hmm? What's up, guy? We're full up on folks who are allowed to play our King Dorofan game. We can't keep playing with you here, so take a hint and scram. Secret spot. Oh. 
Well, when, well then, when I was cleaning the throne room, the children shooed me away. They declared that they were playing a secret game and insisted vehemently that adults are not allowed. I did hear something interesting about their little game, though. They're allegedly pretending to be King Dorofan, and what's more, it seems they're recreating recent events. It's ill-advised to allow them to mess around over there. As an adult, I must participate. I mean, watch over them. Why sneak a peek? I wonder if there's somewhere I could hide. Probably not up here, right? Did I, did I do it? I did it, but the sludge is too thick and gross. I have failed. My king, King Dorofan, I'm, I'm pretty pleased, uh, what if you went to that one place to hide? Hey, come on, do it right, that didn't sound like him at all. I'm trying, but I can't play Muzu and the monster, not all by myself. Hey, I've been wondering forever, the secret spot where King Dorofan is hiding, what kind of place is it? I know, right? I asked uh, King Dorofan about it once. He said it was a pristine sank tum scum tree or something. I guess it's a spot with clear water, somewhere you can get your tummy clean and stuff. But these days, most of the water around the Domain is all yucky because of the sludge. Somewhere between Ploymus Mountain and the Domain, there's supposed to be a secret entrance behind the waterfall, too. Let's go th Oh, shit. Okay. So there's chat members that are saying they had to look up the solution to that because they couldn't figure it out of like how to, you know, listen in. I mean, I've made easier I, I, things more difficult than they needed to be. I've definitely screwed up and not paid attention to a lot of things in this game and other games. I mean, do we need to talk about the Korok Forest incident again? Well, this has clean water, but... Minecraft Steve, pickaxe, Dorito. Yeah, I know what that means, chat. Keep up the good work. These fucking guys got skill issues. Sanctum. We found it. Ah! Who approaches? Is that you? So it is, Link. How did you find this place? What cruel ploy are you plotting? Hold my ever loyal Muzu. You speak in such a way without explanation. 
Link here will only be as confused, uh, be confused as to what is going on. Hello, Link. It has been some time since we last spoke. I had received word that you went missing along with Princess Zelda. Why have you come here? Well, well, to think that such a thing should transpire for the hero of Hyrule and Princess Zelda. Huh? You expect us to believe that Princess Zelda simply disappeared just like that? Do not sully our ears with your lies. I saw Princess Zelda with my own eyes right after the phenomenon at Hyrule Castle took place. Hmm. Calm yourself, Mozo. Link's eyes betrayed no hint of deception. He remains a trusted friend of the Zora. There must be an explanation. Link, I will now tell you what happened when we last saw Princess Zeld, as well as the reason behind my seclusion here in the pristine sanctum. We encountered Princess Zelda just after Hyrule Castle ascended into the sky. Floating islands appeared as if from nowhere. Sludge and fragments of ruins began raining down. Muzu and I had left the domain to investigate these strange occurrences. That is when it happened. Princess Zelda descended from the sky accompanied by a sludge monster. What happened next took us by surprise. She then unleashed the beast upon us. King Dorofen violently, valiantly, valiantly, valiantly vanquished the threat. However, he was gravely injured by the sludge during the battle. As for Princess Zelda, she vanished without a trace. If word got out that Princess Zelda lost her mind and harmed the King Zora, the resulting turmoil would be devastating. That is why we are temporarily remaining hidden within the pristine sanctum. According to your story, Princess Zelda disappeared suddenly in the depths beneath Hyrule Castle. On the other hand, she suddenly appeared near Zora's domain and unleashed a monster upon us. The waters of truth have become murkier still, but... From the Zora perspective, one thing is clear. It all leads back to the sky. This disaster, the sludge, the monster, and even Princess Zelda. It may well be that the answer to these riddles can only be found skyward. Sidon ordered Giotto, a historian well acquainted with ruins, to investigate. I wonder if any progress has been made. Ah. Ah. So you've already spoken with Giotto. You say that the mark of the king was mentioned on the stone slate that was restored? Hmm, indeed I knew of it. I know of it. The mark of the king refers to Azora King's scale. One of my scales, in other words. Oh. I have heard it called by the name you mentioned in an ancient ritual. However, none remain who know how to use how it was used. If this particular scale of mine may prove useful to you, then by all means take a few. There is no need for restraint. This is as nothing to me. If you run out, simply return and acquire more. <laughs> Looks like he's dying and he's giving scales. After all that has transpired and after much reflection, I've come to a realization. I must truly be getting on in years to have allowed a mere monster to catch me off guard. Perhaps the time is nearing for me to pass the title of king onto Sidon. Uh, king Dorafan. Hmm. In any case, that is a matter for another day, after the chaos surrounding the sludge has quieted. Please inform Sidon about my situation and about the king's scale. Tell him there is no need to worry about me. Tell him that he must go forth and do what needs to be done. Thoughts on Charles Martinet possibly being replaced? Uh, I wouldn't. I I wouldn't like it very much.
I don't think I've heard that rumor. But he isn't a spring chicken anymore. I mean, you know, the as much as we love the guy, the, the reality is he's close to 70 if he's not 70. They do have years of archives of him doing tons of Mario voices. So if he was cool with that, they could probably use his Mario Wahoos for a very, very, very long time. He's also a good voice actor outside of Mario in the other roles he's done. Like this one. <laughs> as soon as I can find it. Damn, this thing has too few buttons. Anal sphincter! There it is. And, and this one. Hello, Mario. My father was attacked by a monster, and that Princess Zelda unleashed it upon him. What could that possibly mean? Well, for now, I fear all we can do is take my father at his word and try not to let our concern overcome us. Mm -hmm. Link, thank you for telling me about my father. Mm -hmm. Princess Zelda descending from the sky, not to mention the monster and that filthy sludge. It seems our course is skyward, Sword. We now know what... That mark of the king written on it is, uh, it's something. Uh, the only remaining mystery is that of the land of the skyfish and the floating rock in the shape of a droplet. Stand upon the land of the skyfish. I must be referring to an actual location of some sort. I'm sure if we locate the land of the skyfish, it will lead us to the floating rock that is in the shape of a droplet. It's a bit fishy. I'll just take this convenient rock. Wait, where did it land? I can swim up this water? Yeah, but look at it. it it's made of poop. is long. This is fun.
I'll figure out what to do eventually. Absolute buffoonery. I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna just gonna keep looking around, I guess. Maybe it's like Mario Sunshine, I just have to clean all the dirt. If you find a clue about the watery bridge connecting the Zord to the sky, you should let him know. Oh, do I actually have to, like, tell him about the... Oh. Stand upon the land of the skyfish. Behold its lofty view. Among the floating rocks, you'll see a droplet waits for you. Through this droplet, shoot an arrow. Oh, right. That was the thing I read before. That's very silly that I didn't remember that. Someone said the Zora helmet is here. <laughs> Where, where's that? Can't get it yet. Okay. Well, we gotta find the one that looks like a droplet. I would assume it has a hole through it. Something. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. The, maybe they form a shape when you look at them from a certain angle. Like a, a, a rudimentary lathe. And now to find the scale. <laughs> Please hold. Does it count as a monster part? They're really getting a lot of mileage out of that tier theme. Treasure sensor. Nope. I'm forgetting. I forgot.
so I can get it now at least, right? Like, if I know where to look. I don't know, it kind of seems like there is probably something in the island. Classic Vin. Wait, what? Did I miss something? Climbing. You passed it. I didn't. I didn't see shit. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The, the the side poop? That was it? I made a mental note of it. No way. Okay, where was the side poop anyway? There's some side poop there. That, that is the most hidden shit ever. I wouldn't have ever even thought. If I was just playing this without streaming it, I would have never got that helmet in my entire playthrough. Unless I looked it up. There's a quest later that leads to it anyway. Well, here was the thing. Here is the thing, chat. I forgot what I was gonna say. My as oh, my ascend idea would have eventually worked because I was thinking about taking a glider and ascending through the middle of the island, which it wasn't directly in the middle of the island, but I maybe would have accidentally ascended into it by accident. Oh, I have to talk to Sidon. Here I am going to solve whatever, whatever problems they have without informing my friend. My best friend in the whole world. I'm not a good friend. Boy, now I could use those rods that I was throwing away earlier. Lady Yana, it is far too dangerous for you to be here. Yes. Darling, I came here because there is something I need to speak with you about. I have been thinking for quite some time. Hmm? Oh. H hello there, Link. Huh? What has happened, my friend? Did you figure something out? 
You solved the ancient stone slate's riddle, and a pillar of light appeared. If the words upon that stone slate are correct, a path to the sky may open up if we investigate that location. Oh. Well done, Link. This is a huge development. I see. My dear Sidon, I think that you should go with Link to investigate that pillar of light. As I was just about to say, for a long time I've con been concerned that you are holding yourself back and not acting as freely as I would have expected. But, my love, if you and Link join your powers, I'm certain you shall be able to overcome whatever danger awaits. Hmm. That is undoubtedly true, however... Huh? Well, whatever is troubling you, Sidon, what are you hesitating hmm. so? Or why? Huh. A sludge-like. Oh, man. Reminds me of that one story I read about the the filter in the bottom of the pool. Anyway, uh, that monster is covered in sludge. Could the, it be that foul beast that harmed father? So I don't. We can take care of the water at least for a little while. Do not fret about the domain. <laughs> You're right as ever. It is up to you, milady. Link. Please, I must ask that you fight at my side once more. The beast is protecting its body with sludge. It is a mighty opponent, certainly, but we must not falter. When an opportunity presents itself, call out to me. I shall use my power to envelop you in water, thusly shielding you from our foe. At that point, you may shoot forth the water as an attack by swinging your weapon. Link, that's not what we we didn't agree upon this, Link. You did it, Link. Take that foul beast of the sludge. Is everyone all right? We are unharmed. Thank goodness, Lady Yana. If something had happened to you, I... In any case, it is possible that another monster will appear. I suggest that you return to the domain at once. Thank you for the sentiment, Sidon. However, more importantly, we must consider what Sir Link spoke of earlier. The Pillar of Light said... Uh, that he said appeared at the reservoir begs to be investigated. This may be our opportunity to learn the cause of the sludge falling from the sky or even Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Leave this place to us, dearest Sidon. Your friend needs your help getting to the bottom of this mystery. Mm. Well, of course, it would be best for me to accompany him. However, I cannot leave you alone in this dangerous place. Did you not entrust this task to us already? We will not be on our own for long. We shall be just fine. Sidon, my darling, I truly appreciate that you worry so for my safety. It speaks to the kindness in your heart. P.S. Your is in the sink. But you are the prince of the Zora. One day, you will lead the people of your beloved domain. I can see right now, though, uh, right through you, whether you want me to or not, you are yielding to the fear of losing someone you love again. You must overcome your past and face whatever the future holds with courage. But I... Come now. Enough is oh. enough. You are not acting like yourself. Hi now. You must leave this place to me! Sweet Sidon, do not get lost in the sauce. You must keep moving ever onward. Just follow your heart as you always do. Like my old self, like I always do. Yes, yes. It is alright, I swear it. I am not going anywhere. I mean, he's got some trauma. <laughs> ah. You are right, Yana. I will not give in to this fear. Not, nor forsake my trust in you. I leave this place to you, my love. 
Off we go, Link, to the Pillar of Light. I shall blaze on ahead, my friend. Signature pose. <laughs> it seems Sidon has finally put his doubts behind him and has returned to his usual fearless self. I am so glad. All this time, he was clinging to regret over being unable to save his precious sister, Mipha, my poor, tormented Sidon. And to think he was unknowingly paralyzed from taking action because he feared losing me as well. Whoa. Yet he has overcome this trial and placed his faith in me at last. The Sidon I know has, I, and love has come back to me. Link, please take good care of my dear Sidon. He is the sun in my sky. Problem with the way I conduct my business. Give me an opal. Where is that shit? Is, is this does this make this weapon like bad now? Only I had an extra rod. Hydrant on shield. Oh, yeah. I wish the shields wouldn't, like, very quickly break if you put cool stuff on them. rock. So, that is the clue for reaching the sky. Come. Come. Hmm. Just now, what was that? Hmm. And never mind, now is not the time for flights of fancy. Just where could that light be coming from? What an idea. Dive in, 
really taken that, you know, toilet of the kingdom idea to the maximum, maximum level. I can't keep looking at the shield. I hate it. A lot of moisture in here, Chewy. Do the effects of these Zora weapons still work if you fuse them with something? <laughs> 90 on that fucking thing now. Play the sound, Bart! The da na 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 sound. Are we already in the dungeon? No. There's like a 0% chance I'm going to be able to complete the dungeon tonight anyway. It's gonna be tough going back to older Zelda games. I know this happened after Breath of the Wild, and then I ended up playing Skyward Sword and, you know, Ocarina again. But it is tough to go back to Zelda games without these movement options. After playing a game like this. Oh no, they- all the games still hold up. Well, most of them. But, and the 2D ones especially, like, I could always play Link to the Past. That game is just, to me, almost perfect. But, uh, for 3D Zelda in particular, I could tell it would be... You know, if you play one, like, right after this, it's gonna feel a little weird. Chat, if you could revisit one Zelda world like they did with um, this versus Breath of the Wild or like Link Between Worlds as opposed to Hyrule in Link to the Past, which one would you like to see just further expanded but with a new like story, new, you know, new visuals? Someone said the Great Sea. I see a lot of Termina. Uh, you know what? <sighs> That's a tough one. If I, like, had to choose one... 
as much as I love the Ocarina of Time Hyrule, it is... It, it's been done better. And I do love it still, and I like going back to it, but... Termina is just a little bit more interesting. I feel like Termina's story has been told. Well, that was the gu Gaiden to Ocarina. But I can see Wind Waker. Wind Waker kind of got something, too, when you think about it. Like, Wind Waker got, um... Phantom Hourglass. I mean, granted, it was a different ocean, but... But yeah, an expanded version of the world. But very similar, but with, like, new stuff to explore. I think Wind Waker would be pretty amazing with just more, like, say, more islands pop up. And there's more, like, places you can go to and more ship options. Just another seafaring Zelda game would be, would be really great. More Triforce pieces. What? No. Mods. Ban that guy. Oh, that was, that was a mod that said that. That was desert. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, like a full ocean with, like, a full amount of dungeons, like a full eight dungeons. And just, like, you know, like, each tile of ocean in Wind Waker had one major island on it. Like, one major thing to do. And I feel like if you could just, you can keep the ocean the same size generally, but if there's, like, a way to, um... Increase that maybe a couple more and then you can have like a whole other vast section of ocean just for you know more empty Type stuff I would like that I'd be down for something like that. That's my own personal choice of what I would like It wouldn't feel like an ocean if it yeah, if it was too busy. I guess there is something to Wind Waker's amount of time you travel. Even if it's not the most exciting sometimes, it does feel vast. Underwater exploration with some deep sea shit would be cool. It would be the depths of Wind Waker. Also, very topical, chat member. I don't know if you intended that, but... That gambit paid off. So, in which case, maybe you could just keep the original Wind Waker Great Sea with the, the landmarks, and then you could just expand the ocean. And just add new stuff intermittently here and there, and then... Whatever further out points there are could be, like, new, new lands and stuff. But, you know, that story also has been told. Just like Termina. Like, you'd have to do something completely different in Termina. Termina without a moon falling on it doesn't have the same appeal. At least in my mind, it doesn't. We have to know those peoples is gonna die. The sun... Uh, would have the sun falling? Once again, I'm going to reference Black Hole Sun. But yes, if there was a Black Hole Sun... But yeah, it's the same story then, because then it's just people about to die.
Wow. I think we made things worse. Oh. A waterfall. A waterfall descended from the sky. Oh. Link, what happened? Is this your doing? Hmm. So you activated a mysterious device in the ruins, and then the waterfall appeared. Hmm. I believe I understand. To Azora, a waterfall is no different from a path. Hmm. That must be the meaning behind Watery Bridge. Yes, it must. If we climb this waterfall, we shall ascend into the sky. Ah. Link, I knew you could do it. My belief in you is well-placed. As well-placed as ever. Hmm? Um. Someone calling to me? What was that? Just the sound I heard just now. Well, in any case, we now have a path forward. All that is left is to press ever onward. If you wear your Zora armor, you can climb the waterfall as well. Let us be off to our next adventure, Link. Prince Sidon, I can't do this. Well, of course you can, Link. No, you don't understand, I'm not a fish. Oh wait, never mind, I am. Low gravity, huh? Is this- this is still not the dungeon, is it? What is this place? My body feels light as a feather. This is a strange place indeed, but right now we must focus on locating the source of the sludge. Link, it is time to divide and conquer. Let us split up for the time being. I want the shrine, uh, but I guess can't miss it. Need to go up. Is there anything this way at all, or is this just a waste of time? Some treasure.
Link, I told you not to go this way. You know, that's the problem with the Fierce Deity outfit. It's not upgraded. <sighs> I, you know, I just, I may need those, I don't know. Accidentally got rid of my, uh, <laughs> my boomerang. Mental how much damage that does. God damn. No, 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 no. Stop. treasure chest in there. I wonder. But let's see how much Ascend cheese we can... Accomplish. Yeah. Take a picture of the treasure chest for the sensor. I, every time I forget to do that. I'm not gonna forget the next time, chat. The uh, Demon King portion of the Master Sword broke. That didn't take very long. Really good damage, but it's extremely fragile. Good Nine Inch Nails album. It's a good interview with Trent Reznor on uh, Rick Rubin's new podcast. He, he just interviews whoever the fuck he wants. He just... Just anyone. Not even just music, but... Uh, the Reznor interview was good. Will he interview me? What have you done? Tell me a couple things you about you, chat member, that might be interesting. Don't type dots. You've definitely done something, right? I mean, we've all done something. I've watched the stream. Well, I'm grateful for that. I don't know if Rick Rubin would be. Chat member's probably gonna be like, Ah, of course, yes. Uh, who's Rick Rubin? He's just 
just a music producer. That's, uh, got this whole zen persona. And drinks kombucha and sits with his feet. What does that mean? Like Indian style. I don't know. Uh, how do you even... What? I don't know. Like, uh, he did this thing with Paul McCartney where he just, you know, they went over his old tapes and they, he interviewed him and... And, uh, yeah, at one point, he's just, he's just not wearing shoes. He's wearing shorts, no shoes, and he's just sitting on the floor while Paul McCartney is telling him stories of the Beatle. Paul McCartney's into the meditation stuff. Well, that's the thing. He is to a degree. He wasn't as much as into it as George was, but yeah, he was into it a bit. And uh, that's at least what I'm, I'm, you know, from my own uh, assumption. But Rick Rubin is an interesting fellow and a very good interviewer. I like the way he interviews people. I've listened to his podcast for a couple years now. Just whenever there's a guest on that I'm somewhat interested in. And, uh, yeah, he just lets the guest speak. He just lets them speak. There may be some interesting questions. There's some good observations. He's got some, like, zen philosophies, which I enjoy. But what I like about him is he's knowledgeable about what he does, but he just lets the guest speak. Though, from what Joe was telling me, who, you know, is an engineer himself, the whole Rick Rubin thing is just let the artist, you know, be the artist. Like, he worked with Tom Petty on Wildflowers, one of my favorite albums. And, uh, a lot of what he does is just nothing. Like, he just comes in, falls asleep on a couch, listens, he's like, alright man, do more of that. And then, you know, he does some stuff, but he, he, he helps guide uh, the, the artist into creating the best possible thing they can create. But that may look on the surface to someone as he doesn't do anything. But I don't, you know, I don't know. I've never worked with the guy. I would. But anyway, the reason I bring him up is he, he interviewed Trent Reznor, and it's a good one. So, for any of the Nine Inch Nails fans out there. I forget if he did the downward spiral with, with Trent, or he just kind of... They just intersected at that point, I'm not really sure. Trent Reznor sounds like a shaving company. <laughs> oh jeez. No, 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 no. Exit that animation. Fucking hell. Oh, I whiffed that so hard. The fucking gravity. My, I'm gonna blame the gravity and not my own shitty playing, but no, it was it was the gravity. I swears. I swears, I swears. Game took pity on me. It was like, all right, fine.
feels good, man. Got it. Oh. Oh, that's actually a really good thing to get. Upgrade the freaks. What I say. Alright. Do some gotcha games. took a photo of the chest. Can't show it on Twitch, but... Fuck it, we could do a shrine. Yachts of water. Oh, that explains a lot. Okay. Um... Wait, can you ascend from the water? I think I, I overthought it. Someone said you can fuse these to a weapon? That can't be true. Mm. 
it's useless. Oh, look, look at that there. I did not, I did not notice that. Didn't they? That's really cool. Still so many new ideas that are being presented this many hours in. What did you chat members do it differently? This gets used like once. Oh, that that's just, I, yeah, that seems like the intended solution. I would imagine that some people have found a way to do something very silly and make it through. But I, I would imagine also that there are so many ideas that are just one-offs for shrines or like show up a couple times and then are just done. When you have like a physics engine like this, which it, again, it's not the, it's not that it's like incredibly different than stuff that we've seen But it's the way that you can make your own devices, and the way that you can, like, use the physics engines to solve puzzles the way you want to. That makes it... I think that makes this game, like, good. It's the Gmod in Zelda aspect of the game that is very, uh, enjoyable. That was it? It was just for that? I didn't need the wings for that. Best weapon in the game. Right here. Maybe like second best. Guess it wants me to do that. I 
I don't know if this is gonna work, chat, but I'm gonna try anyway. Oh, it absolutely does work. Get him tooling. It shitted upon. Someone in chat says, I totally didn't use hover bike to cheese this whole thing. Now their chat name is VineSauceFan 100 k Chat member, we hit a million. You can rename yourself to VineSauceFan 1M. Got that gold cock statue with the hand around it. Seriously, though, I can imagine the conversation that was had at the trophy shop. I can, I can just picture it now. People don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, listen, go to my YouTube channel and watch the 1 million subscriber special if you want to understand what I'm talking about. This dude is a YouTuber. Ah, that makes sense. Also, no. Alright. I mean, you were given the option. Don't worry about it, then. Watch some other YouTuber. <laughs> Basid. You're missing out on the cock trophy. But, you know, you- you find a better way to utilize your time. Like, watch said YouTuber stream Zelda. Vinny, I couldn't understand what shape the trophy was. I thought it was a turd. Release the uncensored video. <laughs> I really... Uh... Really don't want to. Though perhaps we can... Perhaps I can... Find a way... To show you a picture of, of the trophy. The cool trophy.
Chat, bear with me a minute. I don't know what I'm doing. Just, just bear with me. Stop that. No. Damn it. What's going on? I don't know how to do this. just knocked it over again. Can't fit it in there, chat. Yeah, no, no, this could work. This could work. Good enough. Shit. Okay, now it wants me to launch. Uh one of these. We've made a million of these. The, my brother in Christ, the hover bike, has ruined this game for me. <laughs> I mean, that, that's that's what the game is. It, it you know, the, the philosophy of the game is ruin the game for yourself. We don't give a shit. We made it. I don't care how you play it. Which is like the most opposite of what you'd expect from the people that made Skyward Sword. Hey, man! Hmm. This really is such a strange place. <laughs> My body felt light as air, allowing me to soar surprisingly high when I was climbing the waterfalls. As we are in an unfamiliar place, let us proceed with caution. Link, please take care uh, as you forge ahead. <laughs> wait, 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 can I, can I? Wait.
It, it kind of needed that, didn't it? Actually, I think I could just use the... I use Ultra Hand. I'm, Chad, I'm just... I'm cooking. Please give me a moment here. I just want to know what would happen. So, so he just teleports back up. Sidon, can we try that one more time? I just kind of want to watch. I just like to watch you guys. Denny, two is great, but three is a crowd. Wow. <laughs> That's like clip worthy in my opinion. shield. <laughs> done and done. Link, let us keep pushing forward. Wait, done and done. Serana? From what I can tell, all the sludge waterfalls are flowing from the ruins above here. In other words, if there is a source for the sludge somewhere, it must be... Link, once you are amply, amply prepared, let us dive right in. I wonder if we're at the dungeon now. So chat, how easy does the hover bike make this dungeon? Dungeon's pretty easy. Well, we know where all the, the shit is coming from, the, the, the absolute sewage. So, we'll do this, but not today. Unfortunately, I may not be able to do this until next week because of the convention I'm going to tomorrow, so... I'm not going to VidCon. 
Too many games. How magnificent. To think that such a structure was floating in the sky above our own Zora's domain. Link, look. That is surely the source of the sludge. I am certain of it. Gave that away. We must do something about it. Hmm? <laughs> that is it. Link, you see it, do you not? If we could make use of that water... Okay, now I'm gonna save and quit. <laughs> Blood Bagel 4 Fecal Factory. <laughs> Alright. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. It's been four hours. We are at the dungeon. And next time I play this game, we will complete the dungeon. So, sorry to, you know, wait for so long, but... We'll get there, even if it's early next week. So, have a good, have a good night, and uh, I won't be around Sunday. I won't be around the well. I I probably be streaming Monday or Tuesday. So, um, you know, I guess now you have a, a chance to catch up on some stuff you haven't seen, or just go outside, or do a bunch of stuff, get things done. Um, I don't know watch other streamers, my mods, whoever, my friends. Whatever you need to do, throttle your golem, and you could, uh, what was it? What were we saying yesterday? You could wonk, uh, wonk in on your willy, whatever you need to do. It'll be fun. But yeah, I'll see some of you at the convention, and uh, thank you all again for everything and for being patient. There will be some uploads of me playing some Steam Next Fest demos. So that, that'll be what is uploaded over the next couple days. All right. That's it. Good night. Thank you. Why don't you make like a circle and roll out of here? What? What? Don't circles do that? <laughs> <laughs>